Hi everyone, Heather Kirk Davidoff here, out of COVID quarantine and back in action. Uh, I'm getting ready for worship at Westminster Presbyterian Church for Sunday, May 15th, and we are gonna pick up right where we left off before we were so rudely interrupted. And we are looking at big questions right now, big questions that strangely have been excluded from the confirmation curriculum we're using this year that is entitled Big God, Big Questions. Somehow in 12 sessions of big questions, we never ask this one, who is in and who is out? Who is included in the in-group of God's love or of those who are accepted or those who are saved or those who go to heaven? Who's in that group and who's out? Who's excluded from that group? Is it only Christians who are in? Are all the other religions out? That's certainly been the assumption for many, many uh, centuries of Christian history. But where are we on that question? In order to answer that question for ourselves, it, it is helpful to go all the way back to the beginning and take a look at how the earliest Christians, the, the disciples who just start to form the Christian movement after Jesus' death, the, how did they navigate that question of in or out? I have a great story about that uh, in our lectionary readings for Sunday. And we'll take a look at that and also a little bit at the vision that John has at the very end of the book captured in Revelation of what it will all look like at the end of time. So guided by a story from the very beginning and a vision of the very end, we ourselves will find a way in to the question of who is in and who is out. I look forward to spending that time with you uh, together this Sunday. Come in person, join us online, whichever way. I look forward to seeing you.